I'm John Schreckengast, and I'm the current principal of Queen Anne's County High School. And it is an absolute pleasure to welcome you here tonight for the 15th annual, and again, it will be annual, Hall of Fame induction ceremony, honoring and recognizing the class, the induction class of 2024. A special thank you as we start our evening to the Goodwill Fire Company. They host us this evening in a beautiful venue in which to honor our inductees. So we thank the Goodwill Fire Company very, very much. Thank you for your generosity. So, absolutely, thank you. So here's how our night will, will flow. So we will have a blessing, uh, which we'll do in just a few minutes, and we'll have dinner. Once our dinner concludes, then we'll have an opportunity to recognize some folks that put this together this evening, and then get into the heart of the evening and hear the stories of our new members of the Hall of Fame, which will be outstanding. So with that said, I present to you Coach Jeff Anthony for our blessing. Good evening. Uh, before we start, just want to um, take a, have a moment of silence for those Hall of Fame members who have uh, passed away. Thank you. Let us bow our heads. Bless this gathering of inductees, families, friends, and those who could not be with us tonight. Bless the food and the hands that prepared it to nourish our bodies. Keep our students safe this homecoming weekend. In this we pray, amen. Go Lions. On behalf of Queen Anne's County Athletic Department, I would like to welcome you to the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I'm Quandre Wilson, the Athletic Director at Queen Anne's County High School, and tonight I would like to extend a warm and sincere thank you to our Hall of Fame committee. Could you please stand at this time? Hall of Fame committee, can you please stand? The Hall of Fame is an opportunity to recognize the success of our student athletes and coaches. Tonight, the inductees of the athletic program, tonight we will induct the largest class of athletes in Queen Anne's County uh, High School. To begin our event, please give a warm welcome for the MC of the night, Devon Comages. Thank you, Coach Dre. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. All right, I'm not gonna be before you long because we got a lot to get through tonight, okay? I'm new to this, I'm nervous, so bear with me, please. All right, so we're gonna get this thing rolling with our first inductee of the night. We have Anthony T.J. Brooks. So, I came to Queen Anne's County High School in 2000 and this young man was, when he got to high school, I said, I'm gonna start coaching basketball. So his ninth grade year on JV, I said, I'll be a coach this year. So I started coaching basketball and had this kid, he was really good. I mean, he was all right, he wasn't that good, but he was all right. In his mind, he was Michael Jordan, but he was all right. And halfway through the season, he ended up on the varsity team, which kind of hurt my team, but that was okay. Because he was going on to bigger and better things. And he went on to, Score a lot of points his first couple of years on varsity. Then he left us for like maybe two months, came back his senior year, and scored about six, 700 points that year. And he just was a great athlete, a great leader. He had fun. He played a little bit of football. He played basketball enough to take one charge in his high school career because he took that charge and hit his head and never took another one, ever, <laughs> ever. But uh, TJ Brooks was a very good to coach. He was just a good athlete. He's the first 1,000-point scorer we've had, and his banner still hangs until this day. So I present to you Mr. T.J. Brooks. Love you, too, man. Oh, man. I'm going to be honest. Um, how everybody doing? Thank you for coming. I'm nervous too, by the way, but 
So let's just start off real quick. Calm and um, Calm G's and Coach Ricky, they mean a lot to me. That's, they started the whole journey back in ninth grade. And without Calm G's been there the whole way, I honestly wouldn't be here today. I also want to give a big shout out to Coach Grave, even though he's not here. A lot of y'all don't know, but I didn't play football in high school, but I ended up making semi pro Hall of Fame for football after high school. So one thing with Coach Grave that every step of the way, even though I didn't play football, he always looked out for me every day, made sure I had my peanut butter sandwiches, made sure I was doing weightlifting, all that good stuff. I also want to thank my mom and my family, because without my mom, I'm not here today at all. Like she put me in the sports to make sure I wasn't doing anything outside, you know how, you know how things go. So I really appreciate it. I also want to thank my beautiful wife, and my kids. They're not here today because they're boys. And, you know, they're a little bad, five and three year old. <laughs> That's all right though. I'm also I'm um, coaching football now at the high school and coaching basketball with Jeff Hollis and Condre and Coach Comedies and everything. So I just want to say I appreciate all y'all being here and. I'm just happy to give back to the community because one thing about Queen Anne's, we all family and we all in this together. And my goal at Queen Anne's coaching now is to bring a state championship to football and the basketball. And I appreciate all y'all and everybody have a good night. All right. All right, give it up for TJ Brooks, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next up we have Mr. Brendan Kavanaugh. Woo. So let me tell you a little bit about Brendan. I had Brendan for one year as well on JV. And uh, when Brendan started out, Brendan was, he knew he was the best player on the team. He really did. Even though some got put on varsity before him, he knew he was the best man on that court. And I had one particular game that really stands out. I had to miss that game because uh, I'm somewhat of an entertainer from time to time. And uh, I had a show that night. So I had one of my assistants coach the game and my brother called me and said, man, you had a kid that got checked out of the game and checked himself back in before he sat down on the bench. That was Brendan Cavanaugh. We were playing against Kent County. It hurt me because I'm an alumni of Kent County and the fact that Brendan had to do that, that really showed me a lot because he was like, no, nah, this is my team. I'm going to put them on my back and this is what I'm going to do. So. Brendan was one of those kids that I knew he was, gonna, he was destined for great things. He went on to play college ball, and he just uh, continuing to do great things down in Florida, which he got up here before the storm. Thank you for that. Um, but again, Brendan, this is for you. Congratulations. Come on up and receive your award. All right, well, I didn't realize I was going to be saying a speech here tonight, so <laughs> I'm going to keep it short. Uh, TJ's a hard act to follow, as always, but I just want to thank my friends, family, my girlfriend, Hannah, and the community for supporting me all these years. Thank you, everyone. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brandon, Brendan Cavanaugh. And we spelled your name right. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. All right, next up, I'd like to present, uh, introduce you to Mr. Paul Masucci. He'll be introdu introducing our next uh, inductee, Ms. Gabrielle Quarter. Thank you. Um, I've had the great pleasure of working with uh, our inductee for many years, both as her coach and uh, as a colleague. Um, she was an outstanding athlete. I think if you look through her bio, you'll see she's got stacks of credits uh, on both um, her high school and college career. Uh, she was dynamic uh, and dominant uh, in, throughout her entire career. Um, just totally impressed. Even when she was younger, I coached her as a, just a 12-year-old. And my god, she was just lighting it up right from the get-go. Um, always happy to have her on a team always brought up the team, always brought teamwork as her priority. She would lift the team beyond herself and make it, you know, do what we do with Lions field hockey. Totally impressive. Um, I'm right now really enjoying her, uh, putting her talents to, to good use, coaching on the field hockey team along with Shannon and I. Uh, and sharing her skills and knowledge with the next generation. Totally impressed. Uh, can you, uh, and I'm totally, uh, am very proud of her. Um, please join me in congratulating Gabrielle Quarter. 
to the Hall of Fame. Um, I also did not know I was going to be speaking tonight, but <laughs> I'm just um, I'm thankful to give back to the field hockey community now and coaching at Queen Anne's High School. I love it and I enjoy it and I'm just grateful to be here and I just want to thank you all. One more time for Miss Gabrielle Quarter. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to former Athletic Director, Mr. David Cooper, the man who gave me my first coaching job. And the interview went, hey, I think I want to coach track and field. You got the job. That was it. So, <laughs> Mr. Dave Cooper, who will be uh, presenting our next inductee, Mr. Ernie McCook. Thank you, Devon. Um, it's my... Um, Pleasure to be able to introduce Ernie McCook on his induction to the Queen Anne's County High School Hall of Fame. Um, I got to know Ernie in 1983 when I came to Queen Anne to coach football. He had graduated the year before, but we were connected somehow, and it's been, been a great relationship. Um, I would encourage you to look at Ernie's bio and this tremendous success he has had at Shepherd University as their football coach. He's played for the national, um, in the national semifinals in Division II two times, which is so great to make that. Um, he's been the head coach for seven years. Um, I would be remiss, since I'm here, saying Ernie's wife, Beth, was a girl soccer coach at Queen Anne going way back, maybe even the first one that we had when we started girl soccer. So, and we really appreciate you guys coming so far. But I'll end by saying I think Ernie truly embodies um, what a coach should be. He cares deeply for his players. He's a tremendous recruiter and person. And I think we can all be tremendously proud that we have one of our graduate, graduates coaching at Shepherd University and all the success that he's had. Ernie, congratulations. have a chance to make some remarks so I have three pages but I promise you they're not that much because I need big font okay and I'll be quick with this uh, it, it can't be stated enough how proud I am to be inducted to this Hall of Fame when I was contacted by Mr. Wilson sharing me the news my first thought was wow how the heck did this happen um, my experiences at Queen Anne's County High School have, were awesome and in, in my experience as a student and a student athlete in this community is really a basis for the foundation of what I've been able to share and enjoy as a college football coach. Um, my career, I've, I've had some career highlights that I more than I deserve coaching football. Um, I've had an opportunity to coach and coach for some amazing men. I've coached unbelievable players. And not all the players are, you know, we talk about the guys that I've coached that are in the NFL, but I've, got, I've coached a lot of good young men that could make us all proud. And I've coached at some really cool universities where the game of football is important. For me as a coach, and I'm going to kind of, this is really where uh, this, this community is my foundation. Um, it's all about the team. It's not about individual accolades. And when I recruit a student athlete, when we recruit him to join our program, we talk to him about wanting to join a team and put the team first. We're in a society right now where a lot of things are about the individual. We have a lot of challenges in athletics, especially at the college level, with the portal, social media, and things that go on with that. But I often say if you can have a football team, a, an athletic team that's like a family, you can really have something special. And I think about our football team that we bring together. We bring 105 guys into our program each year. And they're all of different races, religions, socioeconomic backgrounds. But we all come in one common goal to be successful together. And I really think our society could have learned a lot from athletics. 
Uh, my greatest gift with me is my family, uh, my wife Beth, who I met while she was teaching and coaching soccer here. I was working at Wesley College. Um, my son Michael, who played for me at Shepherd, and been able to see him do some things. My two daughters, Molly and Madison, uh, they're um, they're traveling, having a good time themselves right now. Um, but I'm very fortunate to have a very supportive family to be able to give me the opportunities to do what I like to do as a coach. I have nothing but love and appreciation for this community. Um, it was this community that built the foundation for me as a man. Uh, I witnessed coaches as servant leaders, from Dave Dolch to Merv Darty to Andy Schippel to Dave Cooper, Donnie Grafe, guys like that did more for the athlete than the athlete probably did for them. And I've tried to take that same characteristic and use that as a coach. And I believe that we need to be servant leaders as coaches in this profession at every level. And uh, the successes that you make are really, really key. Um, I like to think that uh, the one thing that I've learned is from my coaches is how to be a great husband and father. I think those are the things that we can teach a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of young men that we coach, and they can grow from that. Uh, my dream 40 years ago when I graduated from here was to come back and teach PE and coach football with Coach Cooper and Coach Grafe. Unfortunately, didn't make that happen, um, but I am always rooting for Queen Anne's County High School and always rooting for the great success. I love this community. I love the Eastern Shore. Um, it's a part of who I am. It's a part of Shepherd University football. And uh, I thank you for this tremendous honor. Thank you. One more time, Mr. Ernie McCook, ladies and gentlemen. All right, at this time, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Jeff Anthony. Is it you or going to be Jim? Or Mr. Jim Apple. We're going to uh, induct the 1968 Lions baseball team. Uh, you can tell this is not prepared at all, since I didn't know this was going to happen. Uh, 1968 baseball team went undefeated. First undefeated team at Queen Anne's County High School. They sort of set the standard that other teams, especially baseball, followed since then. So they started. Next year we're going to be inducting the 1969 team, which also went undefeated. Um, and I hope that we can get all those players. I know tonight some of them are officiating, some of them are doing other things. So anybody who is a member of the 1968 Baseball team, please come forward. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, undefeated 1968 Lions baseball team. All right, our next inductee, Mr. Greg Thren, will be inducted by Coach Chris Campbell. I figured I didn't need a, uh, a microphone. You're tall, buddy. <laughs> um, guys, I have, the, I have the unique pleasure to introduce my best friend growing up. We're, uh, we were born and raised two months apart in a small town, Sullersville. I'm sure many of you have never heard of it, but Greg, Greg Thren in 2009 introduced me into the Queen Anne's County Hall of Fame, and here we are all these years later. Um, but I encourage all of you to look at the, uh, the brochure. <laughs> If, if you see Greg Thren, he has a couple of sports and a couple of years, right? <laughs> Let me tell you what that, I know, it's okay, buddy. It's all right. It's, 
it's never been about Greg, right? And that's what that, that tells me, right? It's always been a team. Greg and I grew up together again. We were born in Sellersville forever. We went to elementary, middle, high school. And Greg and I went to Limestone College. And what a lot of you probably don't know, um, both of our fathers are inducted into this Hall of Fame, uh, Queen Anne's County, as, as lacrosse and soccer coaches. Uh, Greg is also a Limestone College Hall of Fame member. Um, in 2002, I ended up graduating because I was a scholar athlete before Greg. So I coached Greg in 2002, and we won a national championship. So Greg and I, in 2000, at Limestone, won the very first national championship in Division II ever in Limestone. So Greg is a two-time national champion. He is a 2002 Hall of Fame uh, inductee at Limestone and now in Queen Anne's County. But the funny thing about Greg, you know, if you guys know Sellersville, we were a population of 77 for a long, long time. So it was, um, it was a process elimination. I didn't have a lot of friends that, to, to play lacrosse and soccer. But Greg and I played everything together. And if you look in here, he was a soccer player. He was a basketball player. He was a lacrosse player. But his senior year, the funniest thing in the world was uh, Coach Grave, what's a Coach Grave, Greg? Didn't have a kicker, right? Soccer players like Greg, would you kick for us? So Greg, the shiniest freaking outfit on the entire team, punted, kicked, um, and uh, and kicked extra points. Greg, I think that year was the third leading scorer on that football team, and he had <laughs> he had a 38-yard field goal. Still could be the longest field goal in Queen Anne's County. You guys tell me. I don't know. I don't know, but um, I'm very, very proud uh, to be here to celebrate this with Greg Thren, um, and I, I know I know everybody that has grown up with Greg playing soccer. We play travel across and soccer all across this great nation. We'd very be very proud too. Ladies and gentlemen, please honor Greg Thren. Come on up, my man. I'm also uh, part of the camp that uh, didn't know we were going to speak tonight, so uh, here we are. Um, first, congratulations to every, all the other inductees. Um, it's it's very uh, big honor to be here and getting inducted in the Queen Anne's County Hall of Fame. Um, certainly, it was uh, a surprise to me when it happened because all I thought was I graduated almost 30 years ago. Was like, oh my goodness. So, but uh, it's certainly an honor to be here, and I uh, am very surprised that. Uh, had no idea Chris was going to come up here and talk, but uh, the minute they said his name, my heart was like, oh, good God, what's he going to say? <laughs> and if you know him, you probably thought the same thing. But I want to thank everybody here that came to support me, my wife and friends, and everybody again, thank you for this honor, and, and congratulations to all the other ones. And uh, I, I want to know what kind of ring that is, because my goodness, that is big ring. <laughs> thank you, guys. Mr. Greg Thren, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Next up, we have Miss Callie German. So Callie, to me, was just uh, Tyler's Todd, little sister. Um, but no, she was a true superstar athlete at Queen Anne's. She knew it, and she was very good at it. Basketball, lacrosse, like she could do it all, y'all. She was that good of an athlete. Always had a smile on her face and she always stood out, um, even though she was Tyler's little sister. So, but she became her very own superstar at Queen Anne's County High School, and she returned to coach on a state championship lacrosse team, and she's done great things. You can look at her bio. I mean, high school, college, and now as a coach, she's just truly Queen Anne's through and through. I mean, she's the third person in her family to be inducted in this Hall of Fame, which is an accomplishment of its own. So that tells you that bloodline is very good. So uh, good luck, Trent. Uh, anyway, uh, Callie German, ladies and gentlemen. Um, again, did not know I was making a speech. Um, but as you can hear, I am so honored to accept this award next to my grandfather, my father, and my brother tonight. Um, thank you, Queen Anne's, for everything they've given me. Finally got to win a state championship as a coach. Um, did not get to do that on my own in my four years. But uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Miss Callie German. All right, our next inductee 
is Miss Imani Black. Another smiling face at Queen Anne's County High School every day. Superstar athlete, I mean a lacrosse dynamo from like a little kid on. Um, and one of the greatest students I've seen come through Queen Anne's County High School in a long time. And now she's just huge with minorities in aquaculture, which is definitely a big task to take on, especially for a female in, in uh, aquaculture. But she is just a great athlete, a great student, and she comes from great stock. And um, I know this is a Queen Anne's County Hall of Fame, but it's a lot of Kent County folks in here too. So we represent, but we represent for Queen Anne's now. Okay, I got the green and gold on. But I want to introduce you to Miss Imani Black. Oh man, wow, this thing is real. Okay, hi everybody. Um, thank you all so much for this uh, award and this great honor. Um, I'm so happy not only just to share it with all the other inductees, but some of my fellow teammates, Sam and Callie. Um, so congratulations to both of you. Um, we didn't win a state championship in our four years, and Sam and I were just talking about how that still haunts us, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, ever since I uh, graduated from Queen Anne's, I went on to play play uh, Division I lacrosse at Old Dominion University, and over the last four years I've been the head coach at Gunston Day School, um, so not too far, but always Queen Anne, so go Lions. Thank you so much. Miss Imani Black, ladies and gentlemen. At this time I'd like to present Coach Mike Kern, and he'll be introducing our next inductee. Dad, Kern. I know. Like Miss Jesse Cras uh, Crasco. All right. Well, uh, it's great to see every all these um, inductees tonight because I, I've either taught them or seen them through the years, and I actually feel old. Um, <laughs> but I will say, um, Jesse uh, was a phenomenal soccer player. I knew her in middle school, and her and her sister were phenomenal soccer players. They went and played for Bethesda, and her mom drove them across the bridge two, three times a week, um, all the way to Bethesda for tr for, for practice. And, um, and she was the elite at that time. And then all of a sudden, you know, Ken Island opened up. Her brother ended up going to Ken Island, and they wanted to make the girls go to Ken Island, and there was a little divide there. And I'm like, no, these girls have to go to Queen Anne's. And, um, and guess what? The only way that made that happen was her mom had to get a job at Queen Anne's County High School, and today she's still there. So it was great. Um, and, and I tell you, Jessie was one of the best, um, you know, at that time, playing at a high level that she was playing for a travel team. She was the best at that time. And, um, you know, she led us in all goals and assists and had all kinds of records. You could read the bio. But she was our first um, player to get on the Maryland All-State um, team, second team. And I remember going over and watching her playing the All-Star game at Broadneck High School. It was freezing cold, raining. But she had a wonderful game that game. And um, she was a great player and a great family. And I'm honored here to uh, present her in the, in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I also was not prepared for this, um, but just thank you for everything. This is such an honor. Thank you to my parents, my family, uh, Mr. Anthony, Mr. Kern. Um, thank you to the committee, and congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Once again, Mr. Mike Kern. Uh, uh, all right. Good evening. I actually have a prepared, prepared speech this time. Um, so I'm honored here tonight to introduce Sam Lennox. Um, she um, called me a couple weeks ago and asked me to inter um, introduce her tonight. And I said, do you remember how bad of a public speaker I am? But I obviously didn't, but here I go. So first, like I said, I want to congratulate all the inductees tonight. Um, Sam came from a little town of Saltersville, and, um, and I didn't know her in middle school. And so when she got there as a freshman, I didn't, the first time I really met her, day one, and I found out she was a beast. I mean, she played with passion, played with her heart, and she was kind of the rock of our team. Um, you could always see Sam out there because she wore a little pineapple bun on the top of her head that bounced around. Um, and so she was, you know, one of a, a very important part of our team. Um, she actually got first team all um, Bayside um, for junior and senior year. And in her senior year, we ended up winning the Bayside Championship the first time at Washington College. 
And we had to go to PK's and Sam made hers and, um, and we ended up winning. So it was great. But she really is a stellar lacrosse player, to be honest with you. And that's probably, you know, more importantly why she's in here today. And um, she was All-American her senior year. Um, she went to Hofstra for a full ride scholarship and had a tremendous year at Hofstra. And you can look at the, all her accolades there. But I'm privileged here to present Sam um, with the induction to the Hall of Fame. I also wasn't prepared for this, but it's okay. Um, behind every good athlete, everybody knows it's a village, um, and I'm thankful for mine. So I'm just thankful for my coaches, my teammates, um, that some of them are here tonight, um, my family, my friends, and um, the honor is just as much theirs as it is mine. So thank you. All right, at this time, I'd like to introduce you to the Gunther family, and they're going to introduce each other. So come on up, Gunther family. Shane, did, they put, did we put basketball on here? Because Shane played basketball for me, too. <laughs> you, no, he was on TJD. <laughs> Uh, so actually, we became too prepared because I've written too much stuff, but I'm going to shorten it up because I know Ernie wants to go home and watch the Niners play. So, yes, okay. <laughs> so uh, in our household, it's uh, Shell, my brother Sean, Shane, Shannon, and my wife Sugar. Um, <laughs> actually, it's Tracy, but <laughs> um, Shane's wife Casey is here, and they have the cutest little our granddaughter. Her name is Sage. So, first I want to thank, I want to thank Shanna, Quandre, the committee, and everyone that made tonight's possible. Congratulations to all the inductee and their families, and a special shout out to all the Thunderbirds here tonight. And go Sellersville. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk a little bit about Shane and Shannon's competitiveness um, and how they got to be uh, where they are today. Uh, so, my wife and Tracy and I were very excited because we both played high school tennis. So we started playing the boys, and Tracy and I would play Shane and Shannon. Well, that didn't last too long. As, as Shane got better, he started going after Tracy at the net, actually hitting her and knocking her down. <laughs> so I was like, what are you doing, man? And he goes, well, you, that's what you told me to do. I said, yeah, for Ken Island, not your mother. <laughs> So anyway, we then, Shane and Tracy became teammates, and Shannon and I. Um, we put these glasses back on. So, yeah, the, the competitiveness, Shane would go, come to me and complain. He said, Dad, my back really hurts. And I was like, what'd you do to it? And he said, well, I've been carrying Shannon on my back so long, it's got really sore. <laughs> Shannon at Shane and Casey's wedding would get back and say, uh, I'm, at, at the, during the speech, I'm glad that Shane finally conceded that I am the best man. So this was an ongoing thing, and the boys didn't realize at the time that they were making each other better players. That and the countless hours at Gunston practicing as we lived down the road. They would end up playing doubles together in high school with two state appearances, and again at Salisbury where they were all conference and 2013 ITA tournament champions. My son, Shane, got there. Uh, oh, uh, another thing, Shannon couldn't be here tonight. He is in Greece with his wife, Kara, so on their honeymoon, so. All right, I'm gonna brag on my, my dad a little bit here, because um, his, his accomplishments as a coach are Nothing short of incredible. So my dad took over a tennis team. The record before he got there, they were two and 15. And he turned that into what was truly a, a bona fide dynasty. Uh, Queen Anne's County Tennis, the team went on to win 85% of its matches over the next 14 years, which in includes a staggering 218 wins. Truly unthinkable. Um, and that included a 10 year run of 167 wins and only 11 losses, and a 49-match win streak from 2010 to 2012. 
During that span, the Queen Anne's County men's tennis team won eight North Bayside titles and two Bayside titles as well. My dad turned the Queen Anne's County high school tennis team into a team that the whole conference feared. Uh, there's no one that I can think of that's more deserving of this honor, and I'm proud to call him my dad. Shane's also my neighbor up the street, too, so I see them walking all the time. All right, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. David Cooper. He will be inducting Carl King. It is truly an honor to be able to introduce um, Carl King, who played football for me from 1983 to 1987. Um, Carl was a true joy to coach. He was always in a good mood, and anything he asked him to do, he would do it. He was very, very well liked by his teammates. Um, and, you know, Carl was a lineman, and sometimes I'm a little baffled in football that. You know, I guess the nature of it, all the skilled people get all the accolades, and the lineman sometimes is an afterthought, where really and truly, if you want to know who's going to be successful, usually it's a team that has the best line. Um, I, um, I'm going to take you down. I was reading this tonight. I hadn't seen it before tonight, but to take you to um, the last paragraph of his bio, if you're turned there, and I apologize, I'm going to read this. Um, while at Navy, Carl helped develop over 20 All-Americans, two National Players of the Year, and over 30 Navy SEALs. And this was in rugby, as it says before. During his time at Navy, rugby was elevated to a full varsity status in the Naval Academy Athletic Department with the admission slots granted for two prospective rugby players. And Carl was telling me earlier, they have 20 slots for rugby now, 10 for men and 10 for women. What a great thing that is. And we all know how difficult it is and what a challenge it is to be admitted to um, uh, one of our service academies. So just a tremendous accomplishment for Carl. And again, it's my honor and pleasure to be able to introduce him and congratulate him on his induc induction to our Hall of Fame. Carl. I was hoping to give a speech tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a long version that I couldn't get below like 20 minutes. And I'll be delivering that at Doc shortly after this. <laughs> and my short version is uh, I want to thank all the coaches and just all the wonderful people that have been around. Thank you very much. Mr. Carl King, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we have Mike Kern once again. I'm back. All right. All right. This time, I'm up here to induct um, Emma Hill. She, I had the opportunity to coach her in two different sports. Um, you know, she was a phenomenal soccer goalie, um, and as well as a good point guard on the basketball court. And um, she led both teams and, and was a phenomenal player. I will say, you know, she was one of those, as my middle school kids would call her, a tryhard, because she was out, she'd go hard all the time. I mean, in practice, all the time, she would go hard. And that's what you gotta love about this girl, because she did, she did, there was no going 50%, 80%, it was 100% all the time. No matter what day of the week, what day of practice it was, she would go hard. And she made everybody else around her better. And I will say, she put in the hours. I mean, her dad, Scott, um, I, they would, I would see them all the time together, just kicking the ball, shooting baskets. 
And I mean, the, the amount of time they spent together, and, and that's why she turned out um, as talented as she as she has. Um, and I tell you, she loved the, loved sports and loves what she does, and she's actually still doing it. And she's at University of Chicago now um, as a strength and conditioning coach. And I actually hired her to coach my kids a couple years ago, and she does a great job. She used to be a babysitter for my kids as well. I mean, so same with um, Sam. Sam did the same thing. So it's great, um, and I'm honored to induct you into the Hall of Fame. Hey, I'm done for tonight. She ran track too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. sorry about the track. <laughs> yeah, I did track for one year. It was only one for probably for pretty good reason. Um, but no, I just want to thank you guys all for coming out tonight. I really appreciate the support. I just moved out to Chicago. So it's very nice to be back into the hometown and remember all the things that I loved about our beautiful county. And it's really great to see teammates, family, and everything like that. So that's all I have to say. So thank you guys for coming out. All right, for the next two inductees, I want to call my one of our assistant coaches, Mr. Theo Reed, up here with me, please. And Coach Natasha Dawson as well. Y'all up here for the long haul, so y'all might as well just sit on up here. All right, so first up, we'll be inducting Miss Charlotte Staber. I'd like to say um, we are a team of coaches, even Coach Comages. We've all had a hand in coaching both athletes and our relay team in some capacity or another. So we are very truly proud of our relay team and both of our um, track runners for all of their accomplishments. It just just makes our soul happy. Um, but in talking about Charlotte, um, she was a phenomenal runner in person. She still, I believe, holds the middle school mile record. Mike could yes, clarify. Did. Yes, I knew I saw your name up there the other day. Uh, she was a valedictorian of her class. She has the state championship for the 800 for um, two years. Her running form and style was textbook. I mean, you saw her run, and it was just smooth, like no effort at all. It was, it was really amazing to see. Um, many were very intimidated by her, yep. you know, just to see her coming. And her, her dad was just telling me a story about when she was her freshman year and she won the state championship. Nobody knew who she was. And somebody said, oh, don't worry, you'll get her at the end. And then they did it. And they're like, who is this kid? So. Um, that was great. She ran in college, and she I think she ran at College Park, correct? Yep. Yep, University of Maryland College Park. So she has made our team and home. They still talk about her, too. Yeah, they do still talk about her. Yeah. Proud. Coach Reed, do you have anything you want to say? Um, just that she's a great runner. I met her when she was a sophomore. Uh, really, folks were intimidated by her. Mm -hmm. And as good as she was in high school, she was even better in college, mm -hmm. which is crazy. And she was Valley Victorian, so she's very super intelligent, smart. super smart, <laughs> just like the rest of the family. Right, mm -hmm. right. But it was a great coaching her. Yeah. All right. Miss Charlotte Staber. Okay, thank you so much. I'm, I wasn't expecting to speak either, but um, I'm glad I can because I can say thank you to my coaches and uh, for this honor. And um, doing athletics in high school was uh, changed my whole life. I had a full athletic scholarship for, at University of Maryland. And my husband, Brandon, who's also here, was also on the track and field team at Maryland. So it's how we met. Um, my first boss was a NCAA athlete and hired me because I was a track runner, so um, among, among other things. But <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it changed my whole life and that all started here. So um, thank you to everyone who helped me along the way and 
uh, put up with me as a teenager. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's so nice to be back here and see people and hear about everyone else's achievements in life. So, and thank you to Coach Kern as well. All right, next up is her little brother, Warren Staver. The machine. So, thank you. So Warren Staver was probably one of the best male athletes I've coached at Queen Anne's. I mean, his tenacity, he would, he would run through a wall if you, if you had to. Um, I, start, I first started seeing him run in middle school. He was a two-sport athlete. He wasn't running year-round. He played soccer in the fall and did indoor and outdoor track. Um, once he got to high school, we, we heard about how great he was in, in middle school. Coming to high school, he was just as good. Unfortunately, he got, I think he got injured towards the end of his freshman year, and that kind of set him back a little bit. But because he had a, kind of a heart of a lion, he came back as a senior and uh, was a, a state champion in 800 meters indoors. He actually broke the state record. Um, I believe he was the only, he's the only Bayside runner to break a state record. Um, he ran in college. He too is a scholar athlete and he's a great person. So congratulations, Warren. Well, like my sister, I've got a suite of thank yous to say to my coaches and, um, and to my parents, you know, who I was the third runner on the, in my kids. And I have a big thank you to say to my sister because she gave me someone to chase. I don't think I would have ever been as good as I was if I didn't have that, uh, that bar to go to. And uh, the fun thing about track is that you don't just see the really good people uh, at the end of the year in championships. You get to see them every every time you go to a big meet. Um, so one of the things you did is you took us to invitationals. That wasn't something we were doing before. Um, and that, that really uh, um, that pushed us all to be better. And I'm grateful to have been part of a team that really sort of punched above its weight yeah. when we went to compete. So thanks a lot, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Charlotte and Warren Staver. All right, our final inductee of the night is the 200, 200, 2012 800-meter relay state championship team. Now, this team right here, whew, from the very first meet of the season, and this story always resonates with me because in track and field for sprinters, Let's keep it real, you don't see three white kids and a black kid line up to win a race. <laughs> Keeping it real. So our very first track meet that season, my guys walk up to the line and Coach Theo had got their handoffs nice and tight. So we, we go to the line and I will never forget, Colonel Richardson's head coach says, oh, we got this. Y'all, we, 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 we might run the B team against them. We, we got this. And from the gun when Josh took off, they never saw nothing but the back of Queen Anne's that entire race. That race set the tone for not losing a race the entire season until regionals. But the team that beat us in regionals, we came back to beat them in states. And they were so dominant that when they lined up, teams said, well, you know, we're going to just race for second right now because, yeah, we're not going to beat them. And you couldn't. I mean, you had Josh starting off. He would go to Eric, to Toby, to Randy. And those guys just dominated. And we knew we won because by the time we got to the end of the race, you would see Eric put his hands on his head and say, oh, wow, every race, every race. So it was just so great to coach these guys, and they were eager, and they really, really wanted it. And it was just a joy. And I don't know about you other coaches, but they were, it was something special about 2012. I mean, we didn't lose a meet the entire season until states, and that was because we didn't have the large number. But we came in second in state with the smallest number of athletes there. So that was a kind of a major accomplishment for that 2012 group. Um, I like to say for this four by two team, four by, well, four by two team, 
they really grew throughout that season. Yes. They actually dropped the baton at Kent County oh, yeah. because they got arrogant. <laughs> to be quite honest, they got arrogant. But they built, they, they learned from that. They, you know, the Eagles went down and they really worked hard. It, as you stated, you know, it was three white guys and a little small black guy <laughs> going across the bridge. And really back then, we didn't go to invitationals like um, Warren was a privilege to go to. We stayed over here. So we crossed the bridge and we went to States. And at States, they had perfect handoffs. Mm -hmm. And we went against some tough schools and they won the state championship, which is incredible. And the fact that little Queen Anne's County went across the bridge, got second in States that year as a team. And then the next year we got third in States with just a handful of athletes. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. And I just want to say it was just a pleasure working with all, all four of you all. Um, and just the talent was remarkable. And we had fun. So um, hopefully you all learned something from us, not just about track, but hopefully about life as well. Thank you. So in the bio, you see all four athletes. But with us tonight, we have Josh Freeman, Eric Wilson, who I called Chris his entire high school career. Yes, Chris, people thought that was his name. And the family of Randy Thoreau, could you please come forward? Um, yeah, it's, this is just such an honor. Uh, just want to thank all my coaches, uh, family, teammates as well. Um, and uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, Randy Thrower, I know he's watching down from heaven right now, smiling. Uh, without that late last leg in the States, we wouldn't be here right now. So just want to, yeah, thank him and thank everybody. Uh, this is such an honor. So, yeah. That's it. I don't know why I have to be the small black guy, but that's, 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 that's all right. That's all right. But no, it's, it's, it's truly an honor and a privilege to stand before you as one of the latest uh, inductees into the Queen Anne's County Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, this is something I truly do not take lightly, uh, and I'm blessed that I was able to go into the Hall of Fame alongside my brother Eric, alongside Randy's family, and I wish Toby could have been here tonight to share this honor with us. Uh, I couldn't accept this honor without naming five people uh, who are the reason why we're standing here today. Uh, Devon Comages, Yolanda Holloway, Theo Reed, Natasha Dawson, and Ted Holloway. Uh, these five individuals not only made us better athletes, they made us better people. They made us better students. Their love and support weren't just for four years but they have stuck with us throughout our matriculation through life. And I surely wouldn't be in my career without them. And we surely wouldn't be standing here in front of you without them. So I have to honor those five individuals here today. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, to my family, uh, thank you for your love and support over the years, not just in track and field, but also in other sports as well. Uh, I'm glad you can make it here tonight. Uh, and to all the inductees here, uh, you all have earned this. I'm happy to have watched a lot of you, uh, especially Charlotte and Warren, our teammates on the team, uh, some of the best runners I've ever seen in, in, in my life. And so uh, they all pushed us, we all pushed each other uh, to be here today. And so uh, thank you for this honor. Uh, it's truly been a privilege and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. How do I follow that? <laughs> uh, you know, if Randy was here, he wanted definitely want to thank the coaches, especially this man here. Uh, but it just goes to show you what true teamwork does. It's not just one person. It's uh, it was the whole team. Uh, and 
thank you all for being here. The 2012 4 by 200 State Relay State Champions, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, we've come to a pivotal point in the evening. And as I look at my watch, we made some pretty good time. All right. Um, but that, too, was our final inductee. But before we go on, I'd like to thank everyone who helped this really uh, this vision come to light today. And we'd like to thank our students in the back who served the food and just helped out any way they can. Some were just asked today and they said we can make it. All right, we'd like to thank them. Again, thank our administration for being here as well. Thank y'all. Um, we'd also like to give a special thank you to an individual who doesn't like to be recognized ever, but we're going to recognize her anyway. She came she was here all day today, and she did such a great job organizing and putting everything together, and she's going to hate me right now. And I scream at her every day as soon as I walk past her door. I just yell, Shan! She knows that's me. She's like, come! All right, and that's what, so every day, but we'd like to bring Shanna Kordasofanowski up here, please. And I'm going to pass it to Dre to speak. All right, so don't know if anybody knows, but Shan's my partner in crime. All right, in the morning, if I got a problem, first person I'm going to is Shan. It could be something at home. Shan, you got to answer for this. But truly, when I told Shan I wanted to bring the Hall of Fame back, she said, let's do it. It's been five years since we've done it. And like I said, we wouldn't be here without Shan. And I always appreciate Shan, always. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. No, I don't want any speech. I'm good. No, thank you guys for coming. Everybody knows I love athletics. I love our students at Queen Anne's, and I'm so glad to see some of my former um, players that I've coached and um, some of the former athletes that I did not coach, but I was able to cheer them on from the stands. So thank you guys for being here, and thank you, administration, for coming, and thank you for all of us pulling it together. Nothing like teamwork. So thank you, everybody. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our induction ceremony. Again, we thank you all for coming out. If you're still hungry, get some more food, have some drinks, and just enjoy yourselves. Fellowship, reach out and meet each other. Thank you all for coming out. God bless you all. Good night.